Hello YouTube, it's Tony. Welcome to episode 17 of my Bossing the Max Cash series. And so in this episode, I'm hoping that I will do Ambassador until I complete the log, as I'm gonna probably make like 800 mil by getting both of these Eldrith pieces. I don't want to do Telos right now until my internet stabilizes. If I disconnect, then obviously you will lose your kill streak. If I were to go back to Talos, I would have to start using a Nihil instead of using a Pack Yak. So in regards to my reaction when I got Warden, I know it was a little over the top, but this was what I felt at the time I got this. I was just genuinely this proud of what I've accomplished. Yeah, I understand that I've addressed this issue a while ago, but I feel that people just aren't understanding this as much as I think they should. Either way, I'll try not to overreact if I get, you know, Silver or Golden Warden in the future. Now if I do have any over celebrations, I'm gonna plan to mute the audio instead for when I edit the video, so if you really want to check my real reaction, then you're gonna have to do so on Twitch instead. Oh wow, there we go, another 315 kill, okay that's nice. That's really really cool that I can prove a second time that I can kill it this fast. Here is what my chest looks like for ED3. I have done quite a few kills on stream, but man, I still haven't even gotten a single piece. For some reason, I do have an ancient skill, which I don't know where I got this from because I only did ED3. It's nowhere near 10 mil profit per hour, that's all I can say. Oh wow, 23 million GP from collecting these ALK machines. Yeah, I'm just restocking them right now because I get so many ALK from doing ED3 runs. Nice! 319 personal record! I got a happy <laughs> trails achievement. Well, another 4 hour stream, but unfortunately, only 24.8 million in drops. And if you want to know what my Ambassador KC is at, it's 139 and still only one piece. Looks like I may be really really dry on this after all. But maybe I might do Telos tomorrow once I start practicing for Nihil. The thing is, I don't want to do Telos again just because of how much money I ended up spending while learning this. You know what's funny? I tried to buy these regular adrenaline crystals for even 85k but I couldn't even buy that at all. So instead what I ended up doing was buying these sparked items and the primal extracts plus the inert ones. And I got them for way cheaper than what I thought. Alright, so I was able to make a thousand of these regular adrenaline crystals and as you can see right there, you actually do generate an extra one into your bank with the portable wells. Yeah, because I couldn't even buy this for 85k, it's actually going to be worth a lot. Not a bad money maker, but then again, buy limit is only 200. Oh yes, I was able to sell my Draconic Energies for over GE price, and look at these black stone hearts, they they gone up quite a bit here. And there we go, I just made myself 1500 of these power bursts of overkill, with quite a few ingredients left. Yeah, so I hope this is going to be well worth it compared to the enhanced replenishment potions, as I spent like 150 mil for all of this. Now, I haven't done Telos in a while, but this time, I'm actually going to try this with a Nihil setup. I'm not sure what's the difference between a smoke and an ice one, but I hear that the ice Nihil's effect doesn't even work, so I decided to get the cheaper one, which was a smoke. Now, I didn't speak for a couple of days, but that's because I've been doing so many practice mode Telos kills at 300 or 500% in rage, and I know people are like, don't do practice mode because you don't get any drops, but when you think about it this way, I just kept dying and only getting maybe at most one kill every hour. But anyways, I'm planning to do 0 to 300% streak on stream, so hopefully we can finally get an orb piece. Oh hey, I got myself a 637 personal record, that is awesome. Yeah, let's continue the challenge. Another personal record of 6 minutes. Another personal record with a new kill streak. So I did 6 hours on stream and I was streaking Telos from 100 to 300% and even though it went pretty well but unfortunately my highest streak I got was only 15. 
I just kept dying to stupid mechanics because it's really more of a mental mistake rather than me not knowing which mechanic comes next. Oh yeah, by the way, I did cash in my incomplete Hydrix, which I purchased for 300 Reaper points, and yeah, 19.2 million GP. Unfortunately though, I am almost out of charges for Tectonics, so I'm gonna have to sell my stuff and then buy more of these energies. I just wasn't fast enough trying to end this. Like, I was just this close and then tried to G-staff it like three times, but I couldn't. Yeah, this is what this is my longest kill streak to this day. 14 mil, at least this is not so bad. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. No way. That is number two. I'm not going to over-celebrate. Oh, I thought that was an orb for a sec. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I actually got Telos down to 1 HP. Oh, wow. Finally, I get a personal record. 535 on, on Telos. Holy Jesus, I just tanked the so much power at 300% in rage. I cannot believe I just did that. I had a kill streak going on, by the way. You know, I'm not really happy with how I'm doing at Talos because all I want is just the last orb piece. It seems like whenever I'm doing so well, and then I suddenly sign a life. And then after that, the very same kill, I have the tendency to, to die again. Maybe I just can't mentally handle streaking or something. I even wasted a death touch start on P3 because I screwed up badly to the point where he was gonna nuke me almost every single special attack. Yeah, and then I ran out of food for P5, which I ended up dying there. Oh my goodness! I just got the Telos Tendril, no way! I wanted that last orb piece, but I get this. Wow. 433 and we get this. I cannot believe that. Let's see if we actually do get an orb at the same time with this type of luck. Can you really believe this? No, we don't. Unfortunately, I've come to my decision that I will take a long break from Talos. I truly understand that a lot of you, if you had two out of three orbs, you would definitely try to go ahead and finish this. And as much as I want to continue doing Talos, but the problem is, seriously, it just bottlenecks my upload schedule. I want to finish this series before Archaeology, and I know I have 2-3 to three weeks, but even if I finish that orb set, it's only going to give me 1 billion GP, which in turn is halfway through, so how am I going to make the rest of this money without doing Telos, right? Also, I do find that Telos is mentally demoralizing because of how constantly I keep losing my killstreaks early for when I go from 100% to 300%. Even if I were to do 300% in Rage claims, it would still take me 160 kills, which, if I'm lucky, I would get 8 kills an hour. The other problem with Telos is that commons just aren't very promising compared to other bosses, until you start streaking like an expert. If there's one thing I learned from Telos, never give yourself a time constraint and brute force everything. Hey, what do you know? The first kill we actually get an onyx, so... And at least it's paying for my death cost from... Telos. <laughs> 307 personal record, nice. Yeah, and I even get more onyxes off of this. That's actually really, really cool. Oh, yes! Yes, there we go. Hey, that's actually pretty nice of a drop. There. Spider leg top just before reset time. The path is about to change, and I wouldn't, and 1 2 wouldn't be here for a while. <sighs> what a relief that was. Oh cool! Yay! I get another leg top! Another leg, I mean, not leg top, but on the same day. Oh my goodness, I actually claimed it! A spider leg bottom, no way! I was like, I just clicked the chest super fast in an instant and... I'm pretty sure it sells for 151 million GP. 
Let me see if it actually sells for that price. Uh, probably not, but still. I made quite a lot of profit doing this, not gonna lie. And yes, I was able to sell my spider leg for GE price, which means it puts me nearly back at 200 mil. I'm gonna price check how much this common loot is worth, and as you can see right there, I'm still gonna get 27.8 mil off of this, so that is still pretty decent, even though I don't I didn't factor in the onyxes or the ceradomin brew flasks, or even the alcaboles because I'm gonna place them in my elk machine anyways. See it feels great just taking a break from Telos, you know? Oh yes. We are back to 250 mil after I claimed around 15 mil from the elk machines and I even got to cash in my other junk. Yep. Things are just going so well doing a Raxter, I swear. I am so lucky I got myself a middle top a middle piece. Wow. Not too long later. Oh wow, you called an eye. Somebody in this Twitch chat called an eye drop and then I get this. <laughs> I'm just gonna end this episode right here and I apologize for not uploading in two weeks, which has been my longest break ever since I started YouTube in like 2015 or 2016. <laughs> I will try to upload more often and maybe make guides along the way, but yeah, it seems like taking a break from Telos is going to be a good mental refresher, and I just want to see how fast I can make max cash elsewhere, given that I have every single gear and upgrade available, well aside from the tier 92s that is. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope I see you next episode.